Good morning, everyone. This morning I got up and about seven o'clock I filmed myself doing my makeup. So I did a little bit of a first impressions of this look. Um, I tried some new items from Dior. I wanted to test drive their Dior Forever Summer Skin and I'm wearing it today and it's really beautiful, but my lipstick is not on. I'm using the um, Code AM PM. But yeah, so I tried my hand at a soft glam look and I did uh, browns and neutrals and I actually really like it. So I've not gone for my usual kind of coppery shades. Let me know what you think. Do we like it? Do we, do we go a little bit stronger next time? I don't know, but I used the new Dior palette. This is the palette in Sprint and I used these two colors here to create the look. I'm sure that you are very riveted by that. Um, I'm still trying to hunt down my laundry basket that I unboxed with you in my last video. I, I unboxed one of them and I still don't know where the other one is. So I'm hoping that is going to turn up. What did turn up is my order from Farfetch. This is one of the dresses, one of the Karen Walker dresses. Uh, you probably might have seen this in my IGTV if it's already gone live. I'm obsessed with this brand. I'm gonna have to buy a few more uh, bits because this and Venroy have made me very, very happy. So I'll show you the other item as well that arrived from them, but I'm wearing this today and it's beautiful. And another little book arrived as well. But also some of the items that um, I've ordered for my living room redesign have been dispatched. So fingers crossed that they are going to start arriving because Mr. Millen Gordon, my savior and my love has been working very, very hard in the living room on getting it painted black. Um, we had a bit of a nightmare with the paint. Once we'd chosen the perfect paint, which was pitch black, we couldn't get it anywhere. So we've actually had it color matched. And uh, like we said on the other rooms, the paint place that we get our paint from is just offering a, a, a buy over the phone and then you just come and they drop it at your door and you put it in the car. And so that was what we did. And Ali has been slaving away. We are getting there. We are getting there. But um, it's exciting that items are going to start being like delivered. And also we had the news that um, things are starting to ease off a little bit here in the UK. I know that it's quite divided across the UK at the moment. So like Scotland and Wales are doing different things. Um, but as far as the UK is concerned, people can start trying to go back to work. We're kind of waiting to hear more at the moment. Um, but for me, it's exciting. Um, it's also quite scary and I hope I'm not the only person that feels this way, but I feel quite like apprehensive and I feel, I think because I've probably got used to it and there's elements that I've made that feel quite positive, um, from all of this in that I've learned to slow down and I'm, um, comfortable and in creating the content that I would usually create. I feel a bit weird about it, but I know that things aren't going to go back to normal for a very, very long time. It's going to be very different for a while. There's not going to be events. There's not going to be trips. No one's going to be really traveling in terms of leaving the country. Hopefully we get to appreciate England a little bit more and we'll go other places around here. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, but I feel all right. It's just, I feel a bit weird. I think that's the main thing. And I've, let me know if you feel the same in the comments below. I mean, I think that I'm, I'm about two weeks behind when this video will go up. So hopefully we'll know a little bit more by that point and um, we'll be a little bit more, I don't know, comfortable and aware and yeah. But it's, it's nice to know that people can start going back to work and start sort of settling back into this new normal and hopefully hopefully things can get better and, and we don't see a second wave. So yeah, I'm loving my mouth <laughs> from the very serious report there. Ali has been up today. You would have seen in my last vlog that I was helping him shoot. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't succeed on that shoot, but I was able to help this morning as well. But because it was so early, I didn't, um, I didn't film it because <laughs> I was still in my pajamas. He's got the pictures, which were really good. I did want to get them for him. I'm just not as good as him. So that's, that's happened this morning as well. And now he's working really hard downstairs in the living room. So I'm gonna take you down there to show you what's like the progress is and where we're at. Hopefully we get to put our living room back today. I'm also working on selling the lighting bits that I'm swapping out um, 
as well. I have a telephone call with my financial pl planners today. I have a financial planner and um, I have a few meetings over the next few weeks with them, but obviously doing that digitally. So I'm gonna be speaking to them at about one o'clock-ish for about an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully it won't disrupt my day too much. I hate having things like right in the middle of my day. I need to bake a banana bread. I don't know when I'm gonna to get to do that, but my bananas are on the way out. So I need to put them to good use. So hopefully that's something I get to do today as well. Do you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm usually a person that looks in the, in the viewfinder at, at myself a lot. I really like my makeup and I really like my hair today and I really like these tones. Let's show you a better picture. This is the dress from uh, Karen Walker and um, it's absolutely beautiful and I love the tone of it. It's more of like a, a sort of oatmeal-y linen, very like earthy feeling and I love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Little bit lower for me. I mean, I think I could get away with wearing it without a cami, but it just makes me feel a little bit more secure. So I popped that underneath. It's also a really good density. So even though I have a little cami slip underneath it, I don't actually need that. It's a really thick linen as well. Absolutely love this. And I actually got it in another color as well. Uh, not in another color, sorry. I got it in another style. This is the other style. I'll pop this on as well. I haven't actually tried it on yet. This is slightly more formal and they had this styled over a shirt, which is definitely a way for me to wear this in winter as well. This is this is 110% a silhouette that I would wear in winter. Probably this as well, to be honest, but it'd be a bit difficult to sort of layer this. So that's why I was drawn to this because I do want to start wearing the same sorts of things into other seasons as well. Um, but I'll pop that on with you as well. I might wear that tomorrow, see how it goes. I think I could definitely put my like bardo top underneath as well. You know, the bardo top of dreams. <laughs> um, I did have this styled up with my Hermes sandals. They are currently downstairs. I took them off because my feet are just too wide for them. It's really frustrating. And they are the only sort of sliders I have. I need to invest in some sliders. I tried to um, buy some of the uh, man repelling um, Birkenstocks, but they are sold out everywhere. So I think that everyone ha has had the same sort of idea that I have had. <laughs> so yeah, um, oh, and also a little bit of a home, uh, home wear thingy bob seeing as this video is going to be quite homey i have some books this has been lent to me from carrie and then she was returning a book that i lent to her but this is the book that i purchased myself this is 21st century cotswolds by pippa Patton. and the reason that i bought this was because um it's got a fusion a really beautiful fusion of old and um new so a lot of the rooms in here there's no beams um, there's no exposed Cotswold stone. What they have done is they've introduced a lot of like really good floorings and also this stone detailing to the fireplace. Um, but then basically everything else is texture and tone and real like natural feeling materials, old furniture. It's just beautiful. I love this black chair as well. There's also a really beautiful black living room. I'll link the book in the description box down below. Oh, that fireplace, how gorgeous is that old beam. Oh, this kitchen. I absolutely fell in love with this kitchen and I, I think I'm gonna have to get myself a butcher's block. I think it's gonna have to happen. And then I can put it underneath my artwork and move the basket maybe. I'm gonna look into it. I'll link it in the description box down below because it's really inspired me a lot with my house, um, with what to do and um, how to sort of get that fusion of modern and country living, which I'm in the perfect house to create that. It wasn't created here, but I feel like that's my challenge. So um, I'm gonna get to work on that and um but hopefully things will start to come together in the the living room as well in this vlog anyway um oh so yeah morning. morning how are you feeling Fine. happy very happy much happier than in my other vlog much happier than in your other vlog good that makes me very happy a morning well spent yes you're happy with what i shot you're not well i need to edit it but it definitely a lot better than yesterday <gasps> good um I'm going to go get some decorating gear on. Yay! I've just been updating them on the living room. Do you think we'll get it back today, yeah? Mm, I don't know. Yeah! We're going to get it back today. Cool. Tony Two Jobs, they call me. Tony Two Jobs. Very talented, that's what you are. Right, I'm going to go downstairs and um, get cracking. So, 
as you can see, this room is a little bit chaotic at the moment. Um, some of the furniture items are already packed up, ready to go to their new homes. Um, I've got to pack up the new light. I've got to do lots of things in here. And look, oh my, you have literally made me the happiest person. This cover's so much better than the white, isn't it? Oh yeah, that white maybe was a bit too watery. Yeah. Oh, it looks, in is this one coat still? No, this is the second coat. Oh, okay. So the lights are down. You get like a better understanding where you can see the old blue over there. So it's much, much darker. When the light hits it, it has a sort of like warmer, but richer feel. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is such a great decision. I am over the moon and then we're going to get some warmer tones in here sorry the blue from this is going to make it look kind of blue but once the creams are out it's going to make it look really rich going to get some lovely dark woods it's going to be nice a bit ralph -y. yeah very sort of like ralph lauren feel very very happy you've honestly made me the happiest little wifey in the world but i know what your favorite saying is happy wife Happy life. <laughs> I feel like I need to call this vlog that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to get this living room back this evening. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get all the furniture back. But... Really? Well, I don't know. I... We do it together. That's what you said last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I can't touch that because of spiders. That's too heavy for me. I can't do that. The spiders thing is a real problem. I'm not going to lie. That is a real problem. I've got other stuff that I do need to do as well. And this is a time when I should really be working. You know? I know. I think we'll move it back though. <laughs> it's so much easier spreading this. Oh it? really? Yeah. The white was a struggle, wasn't it? It just feels like you're actually getting somewhere with it. Like you do the white and then you're like, oh god, that's you can already see it needs another coat. As in with this, first coat, I was like, you can literally leave it. I didn't really need to do the second coat in my opinion. Just to be safe. Yeah. There are a couple of little areas when you look closer you can see the blue a little bit come through. Obviously it helps it before it was really dark. So can I do an Insta story of you? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get my, my phone. <gasps> Lunch is also in the oven. We are having soy and miso vegetables. Oh, so good. I have just finished up on my financial planning meeting and um, I've got another two of those to go over the next few weeks but it was really interesting. Honestly, usually I find this stuff very, very difficult to follow but on this particular occasion I actually found I was understanding a lot of it and um, was fully on board with everything so it was really, really good. Um, but I thought I would quickly show you this dress on. This is the other Karen Walker dress. Now it is a little bit bigger, but because it's linen, you want to have that movement of the fabric, but it's gorgeous. So lovely. I did put it on with um, the puff sleeve blouse underneath, but it just didn't need it. So this is obviously really beautiful, fitted, like such a great shape. And if I'm wearing it around the house and I get like cool, or if I'm in the garden and my arms are getting burnt and I just want to like pop something on that maybe covers me up. I've got the Venroy shirt and you just throw it over the top. I know this is like super simple, but for me, this just looks the, the sort of whiter linen with the oatmeal color really works well. Just roll the sleeves up. As I mentioned in my other video, I never have my sleeves done up properly because I like this more relaxed feel. So that is a really cute little little outfit but I'm really finding my feet with the brands that I love kind of linen pieces from and these two are just beautiful. I am very very happy with these um, but I'll definitely buy more from this brand. It's gorgeous and I know that lots of people tell me about a brand called Shona Joy and I look at the Shona Joy lookbooks online and I'm like oh my goodness it's amazing like absolutely I even looked on Farfetch but then when I actually find it in stock places, it's never what I've seen of it. And yeah, so I'm just like, even on um, Revolve, I can never find like the good pieces of Shona Joy. So I kind of went in search of, um, of some other bits and I'm very, very happy with this. Right, I'm now gonna go and bake some banana bread because we're gonna have three time tea time and it's gonna be lovely. Oh, 
banana bread is done and on the stand. We also have Carrie's recipe of um, healthy flapjacks in the oven cooking. I need to also make my ginger and lemon tonic because I haven't made that for a, about a week. So I need to get through some ginger and I need to make it so I can have it in the morning. And then I think we're gonna have roasted butternut squash with broccoli, goat's cheese, and pasta. So that's good, but I am feeling like I kind of want to work out, so I might um, work out. However, oh, this is so exciting, guys. It's not back to, we've got, got to put the room back. But Mr. Mill and Gordon has finished the black room. And honestly, I am utterly obsessed. It has completely neutralized the tones that were kind of bothering me a little bit. And it's also shown me how dramatic you can be and not use color. This is the thing that's making me happy the most. You can be bold, you can experiment, and you don't have to go all out with like color, which I think I initially felt quite a lot of um, like pressure to do because I had this house and you could do so much stuff with it. And it was like, there was so many possibilities. And now I'm finding my own sort of style in the like neutrality of fabrics and things like that. But the boldness of walls like this. And this room is so big. It's not the biggest room on, in the world, but it's a big, it's a big lounge. And I'm just really excited to get it how I want it, basically. So we're gonna push everything back, give it a clean up. Um, obviously, we're, we're waiting for a number of things uh, to, to go in here, but um, they will arrive eventually now that things are starting to return to normal. So that's really good. This is the thing that happens when both of you are vloggers and I feel like I always like the other morning I asked Ali I was like can we go and have a walk in the garden and I thought I could vlog that but he already had his camera out so I was like I'm not going to dispute it or anything like that and then the other week we were going to, to the shop to pick up some groceries <laughs> and you vlogged it and I didn't <laughs> and you vlogged it and I didn't we do not like to duplicate content I no think that's fair to say. <laughs> we are duplicating this conversation yeah, this is a duplicate <laughs> Conversation, but we're going to duplication. What is that with my hair? I look like I've got my heat I'm and just all blending into your eyebrows. <laughs> it's such. Oh. So, anyway. so, I have just sorry, that was probably a bit of a random clip there with Ali and I bantering, but um, I just did a quick 30 minute workout downstairs. I just kind of feel, felt like I needed to move because I didn't get up and work out today. And then I felt bad about it because I ate a few of those. Well, I actually finished the Fortnum and Mason biscuits, babe. The pistachio ones. So wait before workout. Yeah, because I felt bad. Because <laughs> I didn't work out. Um, now I'm cooking dinner and Ali is about to. About to? I'm going, I'm going. He's, he's on it. He is um, putting the, the room back together. When do you want to try the, the, the armchairs? Not tonight, babe. Okay, I'm just. I don't think you asked me already. You didn't give me an answer though. Ali does this thing where I ask him a question and in his head he goes, mm-hmm, and not in person. And then when I ask him again for the answer, he goes, I've already told you. And I'm like, you haven't. You've said it in your head. <laughs> He's going to put the room back together so that we can watch, uh, so that we can watch. have our Skype. Skype. Uh, the Skype. Oh, yeah. Ali said it in his vlogs. Who even uses Skype anymore? Um, Ali is having a little Skype session for his brother's birthday today. It's a quiz, mate. My younger brother. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm hungry. That's yeah, what it is. I'm, I'm getting a little. So we're gonna sit and uh, do that in the living room. Probably, I need to choose some cushions tonight, actually. And finalize a few bits. <laughs> but I'm gonna cook first. Morning everyone. I was not expecting to be vlogging today. I was actually going to have a bit of a day off today. Um, I was going to vlog over on my um, Instagram. I was going to do a little vlog for on there. So that will probably be up. I'm going to film it tomorrow because I actually forgot that I was going to do it. And I got up and I did 7k and it was absolutely glorious. Like I actually can't express to you how good this morning's run was. Oh, it was great, 7K. My legs are now starting to sort of seize up, so I'll give them a rest tomorrow. But it was very, very good. Um, as mentioned, I was not planning on vlogging today, but we are because I can't believe I'm telling you this. 
Look at this. I had eight boxes delivered today. And from what I can gather, this is my other laundry basket. The lights from Jim Lawrence that I ordered on Saturday have arrived. It's Wednesday. And there are two lights in these two boxes that are supposed to be um, reading lamps in this room as well. So, so I can gather. Yeah. What? I can gather. But I'm going to be putting those up this evening. Yes. So I can <laughs> you are not just a pretty face babe so i thought that i would unbox them give you a little bit of a first impressions you can see my jim lawrence lights behind that i'm not i'm not totally sure on them i'm hoping that i'm going to love them if not um i will return them and choose something different but um this is how the room is looking today i'm currently talking to um the people at lv trunk um i'm trying to choose a trunk for this room because i want a bigger one for this room so Oh gosh, exciting times. <laughs> See, this blanket will change and um, I will be getting a brown version of some sort to go in here. Right, so in the first box, it was my other laundry basket. Honestly, this company is so funny. I called them, I emailed them. They have not got back to me. They have not responded to me. I've emailed them about three times. But every time I email them, then my order shows up. So I just have no correspondence from them. Um, I'm not moaning though, as long as everything arrives. Um, I was just a bit weirded out when half of my order arrived. But this is the other laundry basket to replace the ones that unfortunately are now flat as pancakes. Hopefully these are a little bit more sturdy. We did want something quite sturdy. And I loved the design of these steel laundry baskets. So very happy with that. I was going to open these with you in there but I think I'm not going to drag this across the carpet so these are the new hinge reading light um, and they are from Elsted Lighting which is good um, I was looking at the Neptune ones and to be honest there wasn't much difference in the price but I did save about 80 to 100 pounds and I preferred these ones So, I'm not too certain on this lamp. Firstly, it's a lot bigger than I um, envisioned it being, and that is quite yellowy in comparison. I you can't see, hold on, let me just turn this down. Yeah, sorry, I had to turn the, the brightness down, but this is a lot yellowier, this is softer. Um, you probably can't tell too much on, on camera, but yeah, this is a much nicer one. So I'm gonna look at the Neptune ones, and I think I'm gonna send these ones back, because I'm not too too certain. We'll have a think, but up here, wow. Oh, I love the tones. They look so nice. Really happy with those. You like them? Yeah, I can do them. <sighs> Just a few to unbox then, but I'm gonna put this one back in its box, I think, and potentially order the Neptune one instead. I thought I'd, I thought I'd had a win there with the Wayfair one, but um, I think it's just too yellow, isn't it? Right, so the wall lights are unpacked and actually these are looking really good. I think the, the tones are really complementary to the tones that we have in here. I'm currently waiting for Ali to come down because he did a haul um, of my Teresa pieces and it's like his first kind of proper bougie haul and um, I've asked him to do a little fashion show for me. I want to see what he bought. And then once he's done that, we're gonna get these lights up. I have repackaged up the um, floor lamps because they weren't right. I have to go with my first instinct where I'm like, no, and they were too yellow. Really lovely lights, bit too big as well. Um, so that is, they're going back tomorrow. They're being picked up tomorrow. Um, all of the other items are all packed up, ready to go to their new home. So all is good, all is good. Um, I'm very, very excited for my new, my new ceiling lamp though. I need that to come. <laughs> Here he is, here's my Teresa Hall. Wow, I'm very, I'm excited to see these because we actually, well, I filmed like a time lapse of us choosing these. So those are, I think I'll steal those off you to be honest. <laughs> these are my new Bottega Veneta shines. Oh, they are. Imagine you driving the Aston to Sainsbury's. <laughs> very, very nice. Put them on. Oh yeah, I like those. Like yeah. Very suave, very smart. You honestly think that? Those with a linen shirt. But you honestly think that, you're not just saying it because you're- No, no, I, 
I honestly, I think they suit you really nicely. You yeah. look expensive, babe. What, well, my Adidas t-shirt? Yeah. Comfiest t-shirt I own, though. <laughs> More comfier than the David Gandhi ones? I'd say so, because it's a bit looser. The David Gandhi ones are a bit tighter. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Very snazzy. Very, it is. They're double breasted. Imagine that with your sunglasses on. <laughs> we could have a look, can't we? Yeah. Pair of night joggers. <laughs> oh, so we need a little bit of tailoring, but that's good. It's better to be too big than too. Oh, it's proper cinched in at the waist, isn't it? Pardon? At the back, that's a proper cinch in waist. Yeah, it's got like a, almost like a band. That is lovely. So, every jacket that I ever buy, I'm a 38 regular, but that's because of my chest and shoulders because they're probably a little bit bigger than your average guy that's my height yeah but because i'm my height i've obviously got the short arms of somebody my height which means that i always have to have the jacket <laughs> taken out. You, you look like a little boy trying on his school uniform <laughs> so, i can't get over how smart that is so you know you the trick is when you stand here like this yeah if you get your hands like that yeah you should be able to cup perfectly the bottom of your jacket Right. That's how you know that your jacket fits the right length. Right. So that's your length check. And then a lot of people do all of this kind of like thing for their sleeves, but it is more preference. I like it so, I like my watch out, so I like it so the line of the um, jacket sleeve kind of just sits just at the base of my thumb. Yeah. Lovely. So there you go. I think that is such a good shout. That's lovely. And it sits nicely. Really nicely. No, no would be. No, no would yeah, be. The shoulders are sitting nicely on this. Yeah. Can you see how they're not puffing out the sides too much? I know if this is just a crease line from. Yeah. From you know. Yeah, you just need those arms shortened. It looks amazing. Wowzers. Hey. Wowzers! You uh, look like you own a yacht in Saint Tropez. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm down to my dinghy today. My dinghy. You do look very nice, babe. You wait until you see these Dolce & Gabbana shorts. Really? I, they're the only thing that I've tried on because I thought they're, they're not going to fit nicely. I feel like a bitty warm warm. <laughs> 2020. They are very, very smart. Yeah? Yeah. These are nice, aren't That's they? what you've needed and they fit so well. They, they are so comfortable. And I could see it online. My legs are a little bit, you know, whatever they model legs off. I think they model the top leg like the calf. So this is when it's up, this is getting too big for the shorts. These on the website puffed out a bit like this. So that with a nice belt. Yeah, pop. I'm happy with these shorts. <laughs> that is three out of three so far. Next up. These were a big purchase, weren't they? Piano, piano. Loro Piana. <laughs> I think that's it. I've got no idea. I don't it know why it's called you. Uh, L O R O, Loro. Yeah. Loro. Loro. That would be an Italian. Yeah. Person. Do you remember that other one we tried Absolutely to say? Fuming right now. Yeah. Beautiful shoes. Um, I've actually wanted a pair. Finally got these. The presentation is just second to none. <laughs> you can tell he's enjoying this. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, babe. They are so smart. Yeah. I love them. Like it they are literally that blend of shoe that you've been trying to find for ages. They're you know nice like though, don't they? Huh? They're nice. They're wide enough but not too wide. Yeah. But they're, the, they're that blend of shoes. You know, you kept trying to get those like, the, like sort of fashionable shoes that the guys are wearing. Yeah. They like suit your style. They're more simplistic. Yeah. Very smart. And those with those Dolce & Gabbana shorts, they'd look nice with those as well. Yeah. 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 Baby boy, it's first linen shirt. We could be twinnies. You can see how off-white this is there. Yeah. Yes, which is good. Wow. I've wanted this brand for ages, but the sleeves look huge. Oh. Can you, this is oh, the one that we couldn't say. One. I'm being a terrible camera woman here because I just keep looking at you. <laughs> That's nice. It's I like a big, color. it's a big fit. It's, it's not oversized. I think it's just a, I bought a medium. Right. Maybe I should have bought a small. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too big, isn't it? Yeah, that's too big. It's like I'd be for a bitch boy. No, yeah. It's like, all I want to do is do it. This piece is by Sunspell, English brand. So I would instantly undo the, the cuffs and roll them up. Yeah, that's lovely. That's such a nice fit. That's really nice. Yeah? yeah. Not bad. Go in. So four out of five. 
One's just oh, got to go back. All of them, but just got to get the other size in the other one. Yeah. That would, that's a good haul for you. Usually you send a hundred things back yeah. and get it wrong every time. Show, show, show. Look, I love that I'm sat here. I look like, like such a lady of leisure here. But I do have my tape measure, okay? You want to know my measuring? Oh, perfect. Yes. You want to know my measuring technique? Are you ready? I'm, I'm your um, apprentice. Yeah, this is oh. Ali's measuring technique. I'm just checking to see where they're <laughs> This one here is a little bit... skew whiffy Now let's put my theory to the test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, smell good. What have you put on? Uh, 44.5. <laughs> what fragrance have you put on? Valentino. Nice. Versus... 42.5, is that the same? No, 44 point something and yeah. 42.5. And what did I say? Which one was further in front You said this one was, uh, you didn't say which one was further out. I think I'll have a little way around it. Yeah. Cool, that's fine, they're close enough. Lydia has a habit of buying lights with tiny little bases. There is nowhere one of the better ones. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jim Lawrence there yeah. with their good lighting. <laughs> Normally these lights don't, but they're not very light. No, Jim Lawrence are expensive lights considering what we usually, like what we used yeah, to buy. There is a bit of depth in there, I'll let you off. But this is my first time buying Jim Lawrence lights. I'm actually really impressed so far, but we'll find out. We'll get the Ali Gordon verdict after they're up. If there are hard, like Ali always like gets really quite cross if things are hard to to wire up. So Jim Lawrence, we are putting you to the test right now. <laughs> I've got, I've, I'm not on the tools. Your bougie toolbox. Oh yeah. <laughs> I made. Can you imagine it. me turning up to work, right, right lads? <laughs> got, got a basket with me today. I made him use a, a wicker basket as a toolbox. No, it was to keep it stored safely in the um. Yeah, I mean. I tried to put all the screws in a plastic bag, but the screws ripped the bag and now they just keep on falling out the bottom. So we need to get you a, something to hold it in that's not going to get ripped. I've got a screwdriver, but oh, I just right. can't be able to put them back. Or, so <laughs> Do you have a pencil in your toolbox? Yeah. Ali just asked me if I had a pencil. I was like, oh yeah, just got, got pencil knocking around. Preparation is key. You are just a set of arms and legs right now. I'm telling you, pre preparation is key. You're totally camouflaged into that wall. I'll tell you what you could do, assistant. Oh gosh. In a second. You could get some baby wipes. Yeah. Um, and I'll give the walls after I've finished fi fixing them. Look at that view. Oh, it just looks so good. So we've got both of them, well, we've actually got all four of them up at the moment. Um, two down the back as well. Obviously this setup will be being restyled. We just don't have lamps, unfortunately, so I've ordered those on Amazon, so we can't turn them on. That's a bit better, you get a better feel for the uh, color of the wall and the light, but um, I can't remember which ones these are, actually. Um, but we went for the metal lampshade as well, so that's the brass lampshade. Um, that's the only one that they do, and I was honestly expecting that to be so expensive, but it was 16 pounds. That's actually cheaper than the fabric ones that I got from Neptune, which is quite funny. But I love the colour of these. The tones are just so sophisticated. It looks great. Um, now, we're in the kitchen. Kitchen's a little bit of a mess, but I've got um, some butternut squash roasting in there. This is a chipotle, like, Mexican dish that Carrie's told me to do, so she... She uh, gave me the recipe for that, so that's roasting in there. Just waiting for the next stage. Okay, oh, there's Lumi's treats over there. Um, this, is, this is honestly so sweet. So basically, obviously my grandma is in lockdown and she's, she's been struggling. I know that for sure. She's been finding it quite frustrating. Um, and so she has made both Ali and I, and it seems like an army of people, um, some face masks. Now, um, some might say that face masks aren't supposed to be like fashion accessories or anything like that, but um, my grandma always has like little cuts of Liberty fabrics, what she uses to make her patchwork quilts. And I joked, I was like, oh, you're gonna make them out of Liberty fabrics. I think she thought I was serious, but these are actually like proper masks. But yeah, so this has obviously provided her with something to do, which is wonderful. But also got us um, our own masks because they have announced this week that we are supposed to wear um, masks in public. And what is this? 
don't know what these are. These look like little sort of shoe bags. I'm gonna text her and find out. But so these are made from little cutoffs, and obviously we're gonna we've got, got little matching ones. This is so sweet. One of the many gifts in life is watching Mr. Mill and Gordon Hoover. He takes it so seriously, it's unreal. Whether it's hoovering or mowing the lawn, it's an art to him. He's also very aggressive. I've never known anyone hoover so aggressively in all my life. I've had to have stern words with him because he's taken the paint off the skirtings many a time. I'm showing them what a work of art it is when you hoover. Sorry. Aggressive and artistic. And quick. <laughs> Served. Ali is doing some stories upstairs, but obviously I gave myself more avocado because I gave Ali more butternut squash. So, <laughs> good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I am literally just finishing off this vlog to pick up the camera straight away so that I can start a vlog for the weekend. I wanted to let you know kind of like a bit of an update on the living room. We are waiting for the center light to arrive. It was delivered to the store that I've ordered it from today. They're trying to get it to me for the weekend, but it's not set in stone. The bulbs still have not arrived for the wall lights, so I unfortunately can't show you those on. But if I turn this off a little bit, you might notice something in um, the corner over there. So I thought I'd show you quickly what arrived yesterday. I wasn't vlogging yesterday yesterday so I didn't have a chance to sort of show you but basically this is my new little addition to this room it looked a little bit bright then but it is a, a really nice sort of deep rich Louis Vuitton trunk um, I had the people from LV trunk they dropped off two for me to choose from and I'll insert a picture of the other one on screen and then this one as well now I loved both of them like I absolutely loved both of them and I think when you look at the picture maybe the other one looks slightly more bold and dominant but for for me this trunk's history and the vibe and I think the tones with the rest of the room will look a lot better. This is also slightly bigger but also one of the things that, <laughs> that I really liked was on the side it has GM. Obviously it'd be amazing if it was MG but it's GM so it's got both mine and Ali's surname initial on there. It's also got a little crown and basically I got um, William from LV Trunks to tell me a little bit about this trunk and like its history. This is definitely full-blown antique this one. It was found in a chateau in France. I'm not allowed to say which chateau or anything like that because obviously that's confidential. Uh, I think it's someone's house and let me get my phone so I can tell you a little bit more about it. So William said this is a Louis Vuitton courier trunk in woven monogram canvas found in lacquered steel and brass hardware and it is dated to between 1899 and 1901. Um, also I always get messages about how you have your trunks authenticated. Obviously dealers can't have them authenticated but um, as someone who owns one you can speak to someone at Louis Vuitton and have them authenticated I believe because inside I don't even want to open this I'm a little bit nervous I haven't opened it yet inside they have a lot of information oh my gosh <laughs> inside at the back there it says Paris Rue Saint something um Louis Vuitton and then it has something something New Bond Street London and then it's got the serial number oh my gosh it smells so old <laughs> I love it but yeah I wanted to get a bigger one for this room and I know I <laughs> I believe I always said that I would only ever have one. I think I might have started a little bit of an addiction with them. I just, what they bring to a room, I just love. And this one actually pairs really nicely with my smaller one that I have. I think I intend for the smaller one to go into our bedroom and eventually, because it's more of one, I, I found this really beautiful like brass luggage stand. And I think that it's more suited as like a little trunk in my in my bedroom as like a sort of luggage one I think it will look really nice in there but they go really nicely together so you can stack them as well and they look good together totally totally like inspired by um, Stephen Cordenroy's interiors like he's got one of these in his living room I'm just so upset I keep calling him Stephen Conroy and I think it's because I've been wearing a Venroy dress I don't know I, I was completely inspired by his big one that he's got in his living room and um, I definitely wanted to bring it in even though obviously my living room is black and his is all nice and white and light 
this one felt like it went in here really, really well. What else did William tell me? Okay, and also the he told me about the crown and he gave me all of the different specifications of what the crowns mean. And so I think that the one that we have is either a duke or a mar marquess? Mar mar Marcus? Mar Marquez? He thinks it's either a duke and one of Spanish heraldry, I think. The highest rank after royalty. So what he was telling me was that in these days, you absolutely could not have a crown put on a trunk unless you were royalty. So now you can go into to Bond Street in London. And you can ask to have your trunk with a crown on it if you really, really want to. See, nowadays it's not so sort of official. But back then this was a very official thing. And they, they were using the these, these items to travel the world. So they would go to Louis Vuitton and they would say, I'm going to India on this ship at this date for this long. And basically they would calculate how many items of clothing that person would need for their trip. And they would build them a trunk to house the amount of shirts and items that they would need for their trip. And so this would have been perfectly calculated for someone's trip to wherever they were going. And that was kind of how it worked, but you could only ever get the crown if you were actual royalty, um, which obviously is quite snazzy. Um, but I just, I really liked this one and I liked the fact that it, it still had, it still has some of the old um, like travel stickers on top like this, and this one in Paris as well and honestly I think that I've sort of found a little thing that I um I quite enjoy collecting and part of me thinks that you know maybe over the next year or so I might sell a few more of my handbags and um put them towards some of these because I really quite like them they bring me quite a lot of like when I walk into a room I just think oh it just makes me happy the way that they smell the way that they feel like they're so imperfect like if you think that you're getting um a perfect one you are absolutely not but they are just beautiful and this one can be used as a coffee table in the middle of the lounge if we wanted to move out our ochre one we could use this instead I'm obviously going to be styling this up this room is still very much a work in progress and um, I'm still styling this little little area up so I want to get some books on here I definitely want to get some height and um, I planned I think I want to get some sort of like pictures or something to go in this little alcove here but this is a little accessory for this room, which I'm really happy about. Um, I'll link LV trunks because this is where I get, I've got both of my trunks from um, and they're amazing. They've been so helpful and they just know, they give you all of the history and they know everything about the trunks. And so yeah, it was really good. I have also just had these cushions arrive as well. Well, I've just opened them. They arrived yesterday. These are the most beautiful black piped linen cushions. I've been wanting some linen cushions like this for so long. I love these sort of contrast stripes. I found her on Instagram, her name is Sewn by B, and I purchased these. I didn't accept any gifting or discount or anything like that. The only thing is these are a little bit too slouchy in comparison to my normal cushions. I'm gonna try these cushion inserts in here, but I think this one might be slightly bigger. Are they the same? No, I think they're the same. I'm gonna try my cushion inserts that are in these because these just feel a little bit puffier, whereas these ones are very sort of like, I can literally push that right down to the center island. So I want to get something a little bit more sturdy in these. I've already popped one on this chair here, but they look really nice. I love them. So smart. I want to get like blinds like this for in here because these are a little bit too warm. I think more, a bit, bit too sandy for me. Whereas these, oh, so nice. I think the weather's supposed to start getting better now as well. I'm going to try and get this cushion out. I'm just, you know, you don't want to like ruin it because these are slightly different made cushions. These have like a lip so you can just slide them out like that, whereas these have actual zips. But yeah, that's just a little bit too too soft for me. I like a firm cushion so that they stand up and you can see how beautiful they are. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be ordering a few more of these, but they look so wonderful against the black. And it just adds, I just love stripes. It just gives me a little bit more sort of like of a feeling of like sophistication, especially with the dark like that. And with the piping, it ties it in nicely. Very happy. But this room, it's still a work in progress. So I need to restyle all of this up as well, which I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, those are just some bits that arrived. Sorry, I threw my other cushion on the floor just to show you. But those are some bits that arrived whilst I didn't vlog yesterday. So I thought I would show you those. Um, but I am going to finish this vlog here, pick up the camera straight away and start vlogging for the weekend. So I will see you in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.